Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Uh, my name is Farooq and uh, I work for an oil company. Mashallah. Doing uh, business development. My question is what is the definition of the parents if your parents are not alive? Uh, your mother-in-law and father-in-law, they become your parents and how to serve them. What is the treatment towards the father-in-law and mother-in-law? Yeah. Yeah. If your parents are not alive, alive. if your parents are not, not alive, alive, how should the treatment be towards the father-in-law and mother-in-law? Is that your question? Yes, and also, uh, is it the responsibility of yourself or your wife also to serve your parents or your mother's parents? Is it your responsibility or your wife's responsibility to serve your own parents? Yeah. Very good question. Thank you. Uh, the first question is about if your parents are passed away, have passed away, how should you treat your mother-in-law mother -in and father-in-law? Brothers and sisters, whether your parents are alive or have passed away, may Allah have mercy on your parents if they have passed away, the duty towards your mother-in-law and father-in-law does not change. The fact that you married this, your husband or your wife automatically you become permanently related to your father-in-law and mother-in-law which means that they are second in line to the relationship of your own parents because your children are connected to them permanently they are like their own father and mother which puts you in the second degree so your duty towards your mother-in-law and father-in-law is somewhat similar to a father and mother the only difference is that they have their own children which takes away that duty of you because you have your own parents but you must also be bar, dutiful and ihsan, be extra good to your father-in-law and mother-in-law. But a degree less than your own parents. However, it's not an obligation upon you to serve your in-laws. The mother, the wife or the husband, it's not an obligation. This is unanimously agreed by the scholars. That it is not an obligation upon the husband or the wife to serve their mother-in-law or father-in-law. Their goodness towards them is an obligation, meaning their respect, their nice words, and all of that. Keeping their ties, because you must keep your ties with a common Muslim, let alone the father or the grandparents of your own children. But serving them is not your duty. Your duty is towards your parents. If you do serve your in-laws and help them with finances or physical work, then this is called ihsan. Ihsan in the sense of voluntary acts of worship. Voluntary acts of worship. You are rewarded immensely for this type of charity. And a Muslim cannot be a Muslim without having ihsan. I mean, imagine a person who's married and doesn't do anything towards their in-laws. Subhanallah, what kind of a person is that? If we have to be good towards a non-Muslim who is our enemy and they still have certain rights of peace if they want peace. You know in the Quran if an enemy is fighting you and they want peace you must give them peace. Let alone the father and mother of your own wife and the grandparents of your own children. It is very unwise not to be good towards them. But is it an obligation? No. The husband cannot force his wife to serve her mother-in-law or father-in-law. He can advise her, he can admonish her, he can remind her or she can remind her husband. If they choose to do so, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward them and the husband will love his wife more and the wife will love her husband more. As for your parents, another thing is that if they have passed away, your treatment towards them does not end. It doesn't stop. It continues. The rights of your parents after they die is number one. You make dua for them consistently until you die. Dua until you die. Number two, you connect ties with their relatives and family. Your uncles, your aunties, their nephews, their nieces. You must connect that tie for them for the sake of Allah because of your parents. Number three, the friends of your parents, you must also connect with them. What do I mean by connect? Meaning you contact them, you see if they need anything, you be nice to them. Yani, uh, Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu anhu was traveling to Mecca and he had a mule which he used to ride on when his camel used to be uh, tired and he had a headband which he tied on his head 
from the heat and from the cold. He passed by a Bedouin man. No one knew him. And he stood off his camel, his uh, mule, and he came, um, Abdullah ibn Umar came to this Bedouin man, this, this stranger, and he gave him his mule and gave him the headband and said to him, ride on this mule to help you and put this headband around your head to help you. When he went on, his companion said, Ghafar Allahu lak. May Allah forgive you, Abdullah. This man is a stranger. You got up and gave him your only mule and your only band and you've got a huge travel to go in this heat to reach Mecca from Medina. Why did you do so? He said, I heard Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say, be dutiful and good or connect with the friends of your fathers after they have passed away. And this man was a friend of my father Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu. So this is another point that I wanted to make. And finally, uh, you asked a fiqhi question. I would like to leave that insha'Allah to the uh, mashayikh. Uh, I don't like to ask to answer questions where there are several uh, opinions among the scholars.